Reality can be strange, especially at the smallest scales. But what causes it to be that way? Physicists used to pin it on quantum entanglement. But there may be a deeper source, quantum discord. When two photons are entangled, they share a sort of information link. Each has information about the other, and when that information changes, like when one of the photons is measured, that new information is reflected in the other photon, almost instantaneously. Any noise coming in from the outside removes information from the connection, until there's not enough left to maintain the link. But it turns out that entanglement is only one kind of connection that particles in the quantum world can have. Quantum discord is another. If entanglement is a perfect link, discord is a less than perfect link. It doesn't carry as much information, but still lets quantum particles interact in ways that classical particles can't. The more discord a system has, the stronger its quantum behavior. While a system with no discord behaves classically, with no quantum effects. So the amount of discord is what determines the quantumness of a system. And when two particles are linked by discord, it becomes possible to change one by manipulating the other. This means discord might be useful for things like quantum computers, which until now have relied on delicate entanglement to work. Quantum discord is more fundamental than entanglement, and scientists are only beginning to understand exactly how it gives rise to all the strangeness of the quantum world. But one thing seems clear, discord is more than just a way to link quantum particles. It's one of the rules that govern the most basic levels of reality.